I have never hidden the facts of my mom's life or her death, and my hope has always been that by sharing her story, that I can help others to not suffer in silence, to understand mental illness and truly empathize with those who may have these hidden illnesses that cause them suffering and pain daily. I cannot pretend we had the easiest mother-daughter relationship. In fact, at times we were unable to have any sort of relationship at all. I struggled to understand her inability to be happy for me or her jealousy and insecurities of the close relationships I had or the successes I was able to achieve. I never understood why she was so hard on herself, why she felt like a failure, or why she always believed things would be better off without her. These were the things that drove distance between us during her life and has driven me closer to her after her death. It wasn't until I learned more about her illnesses after her death that I was able to open my eyes and heart to what a day in her shoes must have been like. That those characteristics that I struggled to understand about you were driven by her depression, anxiety, and borderline personality disorder. After we lost my mom, I often said that I would do anything to have her back, even just for one more day, to hear her laugh one more time. But over the 14 years, time has offered me insight that I didn't have in the early days of grief. And I realized that although it would be wonderful to have an opportunity to tell her all of the things I never did, to sit and laugh with her, that the one more day I would be getting would perhaps be one more day of pain for her, and that's not something I would ever wish for her. So instead, the one more day I would love to have for her is one where she could see a world that understands mental illness, a world full of compassion, support, and tools to help those walking a similar path to the one she had. That my mom's legacy is paving the way for peace and life for others so that death is no longer the answer. I haven't found the way yet, but it is my purpose that her legacy will be to help create better tools for those suffering from mental illness and I will find a way to accomplish that for her. I wish we had talked more about her illness, that I would have had more empathy for her during her life so that perhaps she wouldn't have suffered so much loneliness and pain. My mom was a beautiful soul, and I know that she is at peace watching over us. I truly miss you every day. I love you, Mom.